What's up guys? Today I'm going to beat you down with the two rules of exercise that you have to follow if you want results. The first one is progression. Do more work this week than you did last week. Here's a story to help you remember. A calf was born on a farm and the farm boy carried the calf on his shoulders every day. And even when the calf turned into a cow, the farm boy was still able to carry it on his shoulders. How? Here's a coaching question for you. Adding weight is just one way you can do more work this week than you did last week. What are the other ways? I'm going to tell you rule number two in a riddle. If the gym has 50 employees and the cleaning staff doesn't show up one day, does that mean that the cleaning doesn't get done that day? No? No. That means that other people do the cleaning. That's called compensation, and the same thing happens in our bodies. Rule number two is that all the muscles in the body need to be doing their own jobs. All the muscles in the body have a job to do, and when they don't do their jobs, other muscles have to take over. That's called compensation, and it limits your potential for results. Rule number two in practice is that you have to train all the muscles in your whole body. How do you do that? Hopefully these vlogs are helping you to make sure that your programs don't leak. This is warm up number one. If you want to see the whole thing in slow motion, watch episode number one. This is the plank to side plank and I'm thinking about including it in more of my programs. It's a great rotational exercise that's very early in the line of progression. Here we've got the anti-rotation split stance. It's one of the final anti-rotations. Now we're doing the overhead shrug. Upper traps are often ignored by trainers. Now we're hitting TGUs, 40 kg times two reps per side. You'll notice that's more work this week than it was last time. Kettlebell swings, five reps more than last time. Crosswalk, great anti-rotation. This one I'm not progressing on. The last time was pretty hard. I can probably still get some results with these weights. Lateral walks, good for the glute med. So as sit up, good for the hip flexors, don't ignore them. Single legged deadlift, I've said this before, but this is a great canary in the coal mine type exercise. Are your two sides symmetrical? Here we've got the asymmetrically loaded Bulgarian split squat with the weight on the outside, which hits the inner thigh more. Do one leg, then put your foot down next to your other and take a break, and then do the other.
The goblet squat is a back exercise masquerading as a leg exercise. It's awesome. This is a game theory optimal type of biceps exercise. The bicep originates up in the shoulders, so the arm needs to be hanging back to stretch it fully. Another near game theory optimal type exercise here for the triceps. The triceps act as the lats' little helper, so when your arm is in extension like so, your triceps are contracted a little bit and then they contract again at the elbow, it's great. Finally, we've got the skier. This exercise helps to plug an inherent leak in many back exercises. Extension of the arm starts at 180 degrees with the arm overhead, not at 90. 